Hello YouTube, my name's John. In my previous video I showed you a quick tour of my fibre to the premises network in the little Devon village in the UK. Uh, a couple of people commented, uh, here you can see the, uh, the receiving site for a, a wireless link which brings the signal into the system. A couple of people asked, you know, what's at the other end? Fair enough. Uh, so I was planning to pop around there to get some video of, of, of the other end, but uh, unfortunately the weather this weekend's not too great. So, and in fact, the, the pictures I've got from when it was installed uh, are a little bit better quality anyway. So here is the uh, this is the this is the receiving site, and uh, let's bring up the this is the this is the transmission site. I guess you could say this is where it connects the internet. So this person's house, uh, I pay them a little rent uh, for the inconvenience of having it on there and for a small amount of power that it uses. You can see right at the top of the gable is the slave unit of the point-to-point -point link, um, the Mimosa B5 Lite. It runs down some white 20mm uh, conduit. Uh, you can also see there's a BT overhead drop wire for the telephone line. Is that's That's not strictly to do with this also comes in close by. So that runs down by the house and uh, down a conduit. You can see here, there's there's another one that runs up, which goes into the loft uh, to, for, to, to catch the power uh, down into the cabinet. And here you can see the cabinet uh, at about waist height and those two conduits run into the bottom of that. So it's, uh, it's the same cabinet as we have at the other end. Uh, 400 by 200 by 300 mil Helleman Titan steel enclosure. Uh, the lock's been changed since uh, to make it a little bit more secure. Uh, and then inside, here you go, this is all the gubbins. We have uh, on the right hand side is the same battery charger that we have at the top. At the bottom, we have again the same batteries, two 12 volt batteries wired in parallel for a 24 volt system. Uh, the rail across the the sort of the, the top center um, we have the six amp breaker a meter just just so we can keep an eye on how much power it's using uh, that goes into uh, some connection blocks and then that feeds into a power supply 24 volt power supply identical to the one at the top again and uh, that goes into a relay again the same so if the power supply fails the relay will dis de-energize and cut the batteries in to power the system. Uh, so then the green box is a 24 volt, 12 volt converter because the two routers you can see there sat on top of the batteries, they run at, at 12 volts and it's a, the rest of the system is 24 volts. So there's just two little um, buck converters in there uh, just dropping the, the voltage down. And then on the right hand side, you've got a planet, uh, it's an IPOE 162, I think, uh, device, which is a gigabit PoE injector. The interesting thing with this is it's, it's a 24 volt to 48 volt input range. So it can run off a 24 volt supply, but it will boost the power up to 50 volts for your proper PoE. Uh, and that, uh, that, that drops out through the black cable coming out of it that goes up to the Mimosa unit. Uh, the orange cable coming out of the PoE injector goes into the router, the, the top router, and then that just daisy chains through into the next one. The two white cables coming out of the routers go to the phone sockets, which are just sat on top. Um, so it's quite simple, uh, not a lot to it. Those, uh, I think, what well, they're both on uh, untagged VLANs. The management for the, for the, the radios are on VLAN 100. Um, and then at the switch, the untagged packets are then tagged onto VLAN 10, which is all the routers are on VLAN 10. Um, and back in the back of the barn head end, the feed from these two is combined in sort of a weighted round robin. Or well, for these, it's not really weighted because they're, they're identical speeds. Um, so they're, they're bonded together to get one big line rather than two separate ones which you'd have to manage people on um yeah uh, i'm still planning to do a it's about another uh, 1100 meter 1.1 kilometer uh, temporary uh, four core armored cable pull i need to do that was postponed from this weekend as well because of the weather so there'll be a video of that shortly but if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below um 
yeah thanks thanks for the uh, nice comment so far just thanks